Huh? My God is some kind of fellow. Yes, he is. Be encouraged. Yes, he is. Understand. Yes, sir. <laughs> and never forget that my God, what? Is a, he's some kind of fellow. And I ain't confused about it. He's somebody. You know what I mean? Be somebody. Huh? God bless you. God bless you. Take that past to me. God bless you. Seems like we got the same God. Amen. 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 My God is a good man. It's a mucho bueno. He's some kind of fun. My God. Amen. Uh, I spoke to Pastor and asked him, leave that many speakies. I don't have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, agree. Okay. Jesus. There is no time Hallelujah. that a man of God don't have nothing to say. Amen. Uh -huh. But oftentimes he can say the best thing by saying nothing. You didn't hear him complain about nothing, did you? Huh? The scripture got a hold to us. My God. Yes. Yeah. My, one of the prophets said, my God, my God. Yes, sir. My subject is everlasting life. Everlasting life. Tell me your Bibles to Psalms 1. Close to the middle of your Bible. Psalms 1. And we will conform and confirm and reestablish what Pastor said. And when any preacher preach, I take notes. This is what I took when Jane was teaching. Trust in the Lord. Yes. With all your heart. Help me with it. And lean not to your own understanding. And all of your ways, what? Acknowledge him, and what will he do? He will direct your path. That's a good thing, man. And I just keep writing notes there. All oh, my help. Yeah, oh, Lord. <laughs> look, look, the next word is come. That is, I don't have no help. All oh, my help come. From God, in whom there's no variableness or no shadows of changing. He's the same what? Yesterday, today, today what? Yes. And to evermore. And the pastor said, in spite of all hell, you can't change God now. Amen. Amen. I went to dinner in two or three places last week, and there were four or five people in there. <laughs> and you usually have to go early, you know. To catch why the price is down because after three thirty the price go up for the same food. You could throw a brick in there and would hit nothing but the wall. Oh, <laughs> that's fear. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now look what God's word say. See, God's word is our security. That's right. Amen. God's word say God is not the author uh -huh. of what fear, fear. but love and power and a what sound mind. That's what we are. Amen. All oh, my help, not some of it. Mm -hmm. The secret is comes. That is, we don't have no help. I, I, I've been walking now for 85 and a half years. Mm -hmm. That don't mean I won't stomp my toe. Amen. <laughs> That don't mean that God is a problem. I just have to lift my foot up high enough. <laughs> they are not your natural thing that can 
support spirits of things. Look at look at Psalms. Look at Psalms one. I want to go to Psalms one. We gonna let the Lord talk to us this morning. All what Pastor Blackman said. All that Pastor Wheeler said. It's what David said in Psalms 1. Blessed. You can close the book going on now. There ain't nothing else. Amen. Blessed is the man, woman, boy, or girl that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Ungodly have a fear to it. Doubt has got the whole world in a vice. My older son called me yesterday and said he got a cat. And he can slap his hand like that and that cat run. He slap it, go over there. Mm -hmm. He run from a sound. Mm -hmm. But that, somebody made that sound. The devil is trying to put the whole world in an uproar. Mm -hmm. He got the world in an uproar. But God has taken us out of the world and put us in the church. Amen. And the Bible tells us having done all what? Amen. Don't run. What? Stand. Stand. <laughs> That's where we are. I told him black, but let's go against the normality. Let's go out to dinner today. You don't have to worry about getting no table. <laughs> Amen. My oldest son said he slapped his hand and kept getting run. If you be over there, slap his hand, run over there. Mm -hmm. It's okay for a cat to have the spirit of fear. But we ain't no cat. Well, I ain't. Amen. I'm going to run from sounds mm -hmm. that I don't, know, I don't know the certainty of. Mm -hmm. When I move, I hear God come unto what? Me. Me. That's when I run. Uh, when I hear God. When I. Hear God. Here's a fella. Sure enough, never lived right till he got real and sweetly saved. David. He start off in Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Mm -hmm. Ungodly people are moved now because they move by a spirit called fear. The church should be full. Because this is God's hiding place. Mm -hmm. If you ain't safe with God, you got a problem. Amen. You don't have God. Because God is not the author of what? Fear. Fear. But he's the author of what? Love and mercy and joy and hope and strongness and power and deliverance. That's what he gives. That's why these three or four people are here. Amen. They don't fear these folk. Some of them got a hurt foot. But they're here. The safest place on earth is in their house of prayer. Amen. Amen. Good God Almighty. The best place in the world for you is where the anointing of the God is moving. Amen. Yes. I spoke to my son a minute ago. He said, go ahead, Dad. I don't have nothing. So I went to my office, and he came up here. You don't know what God is going to say and when. There's a song that I am available mm -hmm. to, you. to you. Whatever you want, Lord, I will do that. But Jesus, Pastor Blackman said Jesus had to go through a time of repenting and, and returning of fault. And he never left what he wanted to do. He told God when God said, you got to go on that cross. Now nobody can tell you how long it was before Jesus look, changed his mind. There's a cross for you. Yes, yes. And there's a cross for me. A cross is a thing that come to hang your flesh on it. Amen. 
Now, if you want to show no problem, try to get flesh not to accuse. Try to get flesh not to threaten. For flesh to die means the soul is alive. That's no work of ours. Jesus came to ask me, do you want me to put your fleshly will to death? For years I told him, no. He just stood right there. And he let all hell break loose. And he didn't have to come. I went to him and I said, I'm ready now, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. So this book is our guideline. God work in mysterious ways, which means you don't know what he's doing, because that ain't your business. God work in mysterious ways, it's wonders. When he get through with that thing that's troubling you, you will praise him. And when he get through doing it enough, while you're in that problem, yes. you will say, Lord, hey, Lord, I thank you. And, and then look back for your love. Yes. And you're kind. And you're telling them, just keep adding good on top of good. And your voice going to elevate when you add stuff to what you're going through in spite of. Lord, not my will. Now understand that. Jesus said, I still got my will. I don't want to die. Because it ain't my sin. And God put the sins of the world on him. And he said, not my will. But your will. Be done. That's the business of the church. See, Pastor Wheeler said he didn't have no message. Do you see him run through those scriptures like that? Those scriptures have been planted in that man's heart. Amen. I did it. I did it. I told him, go to the word. Amen. Preach nothing but what? The word. The word. He just, he just, he just self-can, self-can. My God is a, what? Good, Good God. God. Somebody put that in his spirit. Mm. Bring up the children. Yes. And the way they ought to go. Yes, Lord. Yes. And when they get old, yes. they will not depart. But most of us, when we had our children, we wasn't saved neither. <laughs> but God worked in mysterious ways, his wonders to perform. In Psalms 1, my subject is everlasting life. David had all kind of problems, man. Mm -hmm. Took that man's wife from him, had him killed. He was a murderer. He was a killer. He, he said, so and so had killed his thousand, but I killed my multiple thousands. And God told him, I can't give you this. You shed too much blood. Mm -hmm. So God was keeping account. You can't do nothing God can't see or put it on the scale and charge you with it and then take his blood and wipe out. We, we ain't by nothing either. Well, I ain't. I ain't. Only by what? Grace. Oh, only by, only by the grace of God we sit here like it is now. Yes, Lord. And Pastor the black and I, when we leave, we're going to go out to a big restaurant. We're going to sit down and feast. You had to worry about stretching your arm. You ain't gonna nobody. Amen. <laughs> the whole world. Mm -hmm. You know, I told you about my oldest son. Say, he slapped his hand and the cat ran over there. Mm -hmm. The cat saw that slap his hand, he ran over there. It's all right for a cat to have the spirit of fear. But God said, I haven't given you. Right. Yes. Oh, yes. Jesus. Oh. Right. Look, 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 look. Mm -hmm. Spirit is a fear. Fear is a spirit. Amen. His name is Satan. Mm -hmm. I haven't turned your mind loose to Satan. You got a new mind. Amen. Let it be stayed on nothing but the word. And you, 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 what? Going to the stove buying up everything. Mm -hmm. 
including the whiskey. <laughs> Black man said he went to a store and looked on the counter. What now? Whiskey bottle on the counter. What you gonna drink your fill away? <laughs> what that mean? The devil is the author <clears throat> of confusion. Yeah, yeah. He had us like that once too. Yeah. But one glad morning, yeah. we met this fellow named Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. We met Jesus, and he yeah. took all of the devil's work out of us. Yes. Yes. That's called pure religion. Psalms 1. Blessed is the man, woman, boy, girl, that walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, in the counsel of the ungodly, that's fear, because there ain't no God there. Nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Talking about the righteous now, but his delight is in the law of love. Jesus, Lord, God, love, God is love. And his law, and in his law, do he meditate day and night. Now, there ain't but 24 hours in day and night. Right. So if you meditate on the things of God 24 hours, you don't have no time to think about nothing now. Amen. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in God's law, do he meditate? Think about it. Subject itself at two. Shared with others. When? Day and night. Now there ain't no other time. So you cast all your care upon the Lord because he care for you. That is all the problems I think I got, he paid for them. Right. So I got no right to have no problem. Amen. And if you got a problem you got to think about, you didn't give it to God. And problems don't come in single and in duets and truth. Sometimes problems come by the chalk load. <laughs> and I've come to at 86, almost, about two months. I've come to the point. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. I'm through. Thank you. Hey! Um, you can't do nothing about it, any, huh? So what you gonna stay up all night crying and word and tear? What you gonna sleep? Amen. Yeah. Now let me show you where you can do that. When you cast all, mm. hey, you, you better let them children go about their business. Right. Amen. Yeah. They're subject to the same God you met, right. and God loved them just like they are, like He did you when you were like them. Amen. So you yeah. have to submit these things. To God, that can do something about it. We can't do nothing about what our children done. Amen. But prayer is a power. Yes. Prayer is a power. <laughs> prayer is a power. Yes. Somebody told me they had a had a son somewhere way off in a jail somewhere, and she just kept praying, just kept praying. Yes. And all of a sudden, God brought that child. Within a two or three hour car ride. Make it one hour and 19 minutes. With, see? Mm -hmm. She got a down pine, one hour and 22 minutes. It used to take a long time to drive while you were. Don't you see? Don't, yes, don't you see God is working with us? Yes. Can't you see it? Yes, Whatever yes, is impossible for us. It's just right for God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. But look what he tells us to do now. Something that ain't intellectually normal. Pray for those that despitefully mm -hmm. use you. Mm -hmm. yes. Now, no use going that way. You got to do that first. Amen. You can pray till you get nine feet and thirty inches. If you don't do it God's way, it ain't going to work. Right. Amen. You can give up all your bread and starve to death. 
You ain't caught true with your time. That ain't gonna do nothing. Obedience, oh, come on, set to me. Obedience yes, yes. is better than sacrifice. Learn this, saints. Learn it. The things that God tells us to do don't always make intellectual sense. Mm. Right. If it did, we could counsel God. Mm. Here's somebody stole both of my very expensive ride lawnmower. And God said, James, mm -hmm. are you going to forgive them or burn in hell? Yes. Make your choice. I won't make it for you. Mm -hmm. Now, if I don't forgive them, and that unforgiveness take my soul to hell, and they repent to God for doing it, they'll go to heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. How come? God is not a respecter of said to Hey, God is not a res God. He don't care who he say. Come on here. Yeah. Oh, he had to fulfill his word. All oh, soul. How many souls? All, All souls are mine. Yes. And he take no pleasure in the death of a sinner. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Mm -hmm. How come? He loved the soul of that person. Mm -hmm. Now that part of God was to, still trying to work it out. <laughs> My subject is everlasting life. Psalm 23. But his delight his care for you, his love for you, his sacrifice for you, his anointing for you. His delight is in the law of the Lord. And in God's law do he meditate. Look at it now. When? Day and night. There ain't no other time to meditate on nothing else. So when I really want to go to sleep, I cut on, I go home and turn on my TV. In about two minutes, brother, I'm gone. How come? I ain't nothing on that television do your soul no good. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. I was going to say in some of the, but I ain't going to say it. Because I was going to say in some of the, I ain't telling the truth. But my Bible tells me, you shall know yes. Yes. the truth. Mm -hmm. And what will that truth do? Mm -hmm. It will make you what? Free. Free. Now, I'm going to ask some questions in here. I'm going to close my eyes. <laughs> Is there anyone in here now? Hell, I'm going to say Is free. Let me see your hands. Say, yes, Pastor. Yes, Pastor. Free at last. Free at last. Free at last. Thank God Almighty. Thank God Almighty. I, I am, am what? Free. free. From what? Sin and death. Amen. Not the attack of the enemy. Thank you. Just because we save and sanctify, don't make the devil save and sanctify. Mm. So if he can get some of his children mm -hmm. to come against us, that ain't us. Right. That's the work of the devil. Mm -hmm. I paid all that money for those lawnmowers. Expensive lawnmowers. Real top of the line. Mm -hmm. And somebody came. They didn't pull the door off of the garage. They took a truck and put a chain across the front of the garage and pulled the whole front off. <laughs> In the daytime, mm -hmm. four o'clock in the day. Mm -hmm. And the people that saw it had so much fear, they were afraid to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me fear ain't got power now. Mm -hmm. But fear can only work in the absence of righteousness. A righteous person don't got no fear. Amen. 
Now that don't mean you're going to come out here at midnight and walk from here downtown by yourself. That's called stupidity. Right. Yeah. In all your ways, acknowledge God and what? He will direct your path. path. Now when I first got saved, I had a 12 or 13 foot cross. And two times a week I'd walk from here downtown carrying that cross. I didn't put a wheel on it. That's cheap. <laughs> and I, I timed it the same time every day. So people start looking to see me carrying that cross. Listen to me. The Bible tells us, pick up mm -hmm. yes. your cross and follow me. Live holy like me and follow me. People see how you live. They may not say not. They might hold you, call you Holy Joe or Holy Mary. Mm -hmm. That means they saw you. So your work is done. Amen. And listen, the Bible tells us, blessed is a person that loves me and don't be offended. Right. Mm -hmm. The devil's job is to offend. You first. You ain't about nothing. You must be going with that preacher down there. Every time I see you, you're up in church. What he's saying is you shouldn't go to church so much. I don't like it when you go to church. I said, you got to learn how to read that devil. He can't tell the truth. My subject is everlasting life. And I got 29 minutes. And I want to tell you again and again, yes. trust in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. With all your mm -hmm. heart. Never mind that education. Mm -hmm. Lean not yes. mm -hmm. to your own understanding. Yes, yes. In all of your ways, yes. acknowledge yes. God and he will Direct your path. Yes. This is heaven's instruction. Mm -hmm. This is a classroom ordained by the Holy Spirit. Yes. This is a textbook written by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Read this book, do it, and live. I didn't say read this book and live. It's not the knower of rising that justifies, but the do other work. Mm -hmm. And you can't listen to Blackman and James and me and don't know the truth. Oh, we read it to you. Yeah. Now, if we read it to you and you don't do it, you're going to have to account to God for rebelling against the gospel. Lord. That ain't no plaything there. Amen. That ain't no plaything here. Amen. But God is merciful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing you can do that he will not forgive. Mm -hmm. Speaking a word against the Holy Spirit. Amen. He will not forgive you Amen. for that. And he said, I don't, will, I don't will that you pray for that. But any other sin, mm -hmm. why, why you can't be forgiven for talking a word against the Holy Spirit? He's the triune. You got Father, the, God the Father, Amen. God the Son, and what? God the Holy Ghost. If you got three buses going to Detroit, you can miss the first one. Mm -hmm. You can miss the second one. But if you miss that third one, you're walking. Amen. You're stranded. Amen. <laughs> Ain't nobody going to come after the whole coma said, hey, hey, after the Holy Ghost leave, Jesus is going to come and park his war horse up there. He ain't coming to no more. Because his Bible says he's going to make a statement. Come up here. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to say it but once. So you got to be anxious to hear Nothing but what? The word. Now if you hear the word, you know the voice of Christ. The word of God is the voice of his son. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was what? God. This is God here. Amen. Now I got an old Bible at home, I wore it out. I just, I want to throw that Bible, you know, 
It's so raggedy, the page is falling out of it. But I, I saw I just put it in the drawer. Amen. I don't have the gumption to destroy that Bible. It's junk now. You, you mm -hmm. turn your leaves, it's so dry they'll break. But I had that Bible 20 years. Amen. And it has become a part of me. Amen. Not that book. The word that's written in the book. My subject is, and I've got 25 minutes. Everlasting what? Life. Where is that? It is in Christ Jesus. God don't save. Without Jesus, God is a judge. Mm. Amen. So you can't walk up to God. And when you do, you got his father on here and they what? Name with you. You better put Jesus before you or you are dead. How come? God, look at now and understand. God can't look on sin. But God can see mm. the sinner. Amen. Sin don't have no soul. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. Sin is an ungodly thing. And God can't see nothing that's not like him. Except the soul that Jesus came to make like him. Jesus came to save. 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 My soul. Thank you, Lord. He came to save my soul. And we, all of us got the right to say if I was the only one here. You know God should have got some love. Big as this world is, if there was one person in it that was lost, good God Almighty. This shows you how personal the crucifixion is. If there was just one lost soul in this world, God would have crucified Jesus for that one soul. Amen. I have to think like that Amen. because salvation is a personal relationship between my soul and my God. I have to think it like that. Oh, so when I pray, yes, Jesus loved me. Yes. Huh? Yes. Jesus loved me. Yes. Jesus loved me because the Bible told me so. <laughs> Yes, sir. We're going to read now. What I read is the word of God. The word of God is true. And the word of God says you shall know that truth that this book is and the author of it is. And it will not set but make you free. It will break that yoke. Amen. You know sin is a bondage. Amen. Sin is a bondage. And once sin get a hold of you, you are subject to everything that the devil say. Because through that lie, he become your master. All right. Now make that lie the truth. And through that truth, God becomes, hey, God becomes your master. How do you know that? Because I heard Jesus tell God, not my will. I surrender to slavery to, to you. Do what you want to with me. Yeah. Now look. Amen. I know it seems well. Let me tell you something. Don't you say that you are the body of Christ? Right. <clears throat> Did you see Jesus tell God, not my will? Yeah. I do whatever you command me to do. Glory. That's the life of a saint. Amen. That's the life of a saint. And don't let nobody tell you we sin more or less. That's a lie. Look at Matthew. Glory. Five, I think it's 48. Or 45. Mm. 
Matthew 5, 48. Are you there? Amen. Amen. Read it with me. Be ye therefore what? Perfect. Perfect. Even as your father had come on the heart, which is in heaven is what? Perfect. Perfect. Ain't, no, ain't no change in that. They don't change that. Now, there's another scripture say, without me, right. you can do what? Nothing. Nothing. So if God tells you to be perfect, it's his responsibility to take your will and mold you just like God. Yes. That's the church. There ain't nothing else. That's the church. Now, now I just want to tell you real stuff. God didn't give us a spirit of fear. Amen. I ain't got no spirit of fear. Come on here. And this little choir amazed me, man. <laughs> Did you know most says you won't lead you? Ain't but four of you. Sometimes they ain't but three. And sometimes they ain't but two. If they ain't but one, she'll sing. Know for sure hey, that Matthew 5 48 is a heavenly truth. God said it. Be you therefore perfect. What is it related to? Even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So when you say you are God, you say I'm just like God, but only by what? The yes. grace of God. God won't tell you to, to do something that you are not able to do, Amen. but you're able to do it because of the what? Grace. grace of God. God is your righteousness. God is your holiness. God is your upliftness. God is your power. God is your joy. God is your peace. God is your power. Without Him, you can't do nothing. Nothing. Yes, Lord. This is this is preaching here. This is preaching. But look, we are not telling you what you can do. We're telling you what God can enable you to do in spite of you. We ain't so holy right now. Look at that word, only. We ain't about nothing. We ain't about nothing. But God love us. Just like we are. Too much what? To leave us like that. Come on. I ain't gonna try to be like that. I ain't gonna try to be like that. I'm gonna read. I'm a teacher. They're the teacher, preachers. When I read that to you, I want you to accept it. But if you don't, it ain't gonna bother me now a kind of bit. How come? I swallowed the hook. And when you go fishing, he they swallow the hook and the barber every time. You know you got that fish. I've been caught. How come? Because you hear on Simon's, they, they go downstream and they get pregnant and they come upstream to have their egg. And they had a flock, they had to swim against that stream. Yes, sir. And, and they just, they just, and then they die. Whenever you come against, The word of God, your soul dies. Yeah, but as soon as you say, Lord, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. you come alive. Amen. And all heaven shout for joy. Amen. Look, look, not, not over a thousand so one soul will make heaven shout. Amen. And you, you, you can't count the angels that in heaven. Every angel in heaven shout when one soul says yes to yes. Jesus. Yes. Heaven catch fire. Yes. The joy of the Lord become their strength. Over one soul. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do you see why, why James and Black and I ain't discouraged because the pews ain't full? Let me mm -hmm. tell you something. Now don't be offended to stay at home. Mm -hmm. 
if you don't come, I'm going to do what God assigned me to do. Preach that word. I'm going to do it. How come? I'm looking for a cross. That's a cross, saints. Yes. Obedience to God is a cross. Pick it up. Don't drag it with complaint. Mm. Somebody came here, a pastor. They don't call him an angle, you know him. He's a pastor wheeler. Mm. It's been prophesied that I'm going to pastor the full God. Mm. Christians. Church. Listen, you don't have to know a whole bunch of stuff, but you got to know your calling. Amen. Do you hear me? Amen. You got to know where God put you. Nobody can move you. Right. Nobody. He is a pastor that drives 70 miles to church every Sunday for the last five years. Amen. I live five doors. He beat me in church. And I'd be here at 9 o'clock. That means he come before 9. Praise God. Listen to me. My oldest son got this on his karate school. Faith. Faithfulness and what? Consistency. What's those words? Faith. Faithfulness and consistency. Look at the scripture now. Faith coming by hearing the word. You see? You got to hear the word, obey the word, to get the faith and the author of the word. If you want faith in God, you got to spiritually eat this book. Yeah. Amen. I done got some now. I can watch a cowboy movie and read this book. How come the movies were made in the 1950s? The people are dead. So I just sit there, sometimes I just cut it on, I try my face, see. Sometimes I cut it on. And then time God cut me off there. And when I wake up, Jenna McBrown is still on the TV. <laughs> so that TV can outlast me. So I got a little button like that mm. called a remote. Mm. Touch that button. Cut that devil off. Listen to me. One word will cut that devil down. Faith. Absolutely. But you got to have a source. Faith in what? Christ Jesus will disarm the world. It will do it. It will do it. It will do it. I'll be 86 in May. You see how strong my voice is? Yes. They got to do with me. If it's good, God did it. Yes. If it's yes. bad, the devil did it. Listen to me. Listen to James and Black when they preach to you. Listen. Listen to me, let me teach you. All good. And I'm all set today. And every perfect gift. Yes. Yes. Well, Come from God. God, if you got some God gave it to you. Nothing good come from the devil. He's the author of confusion and destruction. So if you got good help, God did it. Amen. If you save and die, God did it. Y'all might have sure about that. God is the only one that can really control death. Amen. I'm old enough for all of y'all today. How come? I love me some shit. I love, and let me tell you something. I love me some Jesus more than when I'm with you. He is my private thing. Yes, yes. I can talk to Jesus better when I'm by myself. Because I'm not worried about whether it's a vow or a, a noun to follow the verb. And I said, Lord, I need you right now. I need you. I, oh, I said, Lord, help me now. Oh, mm -hmm. oh boy. Mm -hmm. And I cry for God. And sometimes, God, <laughs> I have learned how to reach out and touch God for me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let me 
It's 1249. I got 11 minutes. Listen to me. The people that are running because of fear, they ain't looking for the clock to tell them to come back out into the public. Yeah. The spirit of fear will shut you in. Amen. And you will be afraid of the very thing that you thought you praised before. Amen. Amen. I tell you, my son Jeff got a cat. That cat's that big. He said if he clap his hand, that cat run. Yeah. And he sit down under there and crawl up under something. He clap his hand, the cat running from a sound. God did not give us <laughs> the spirit of what? Fear. Fear, Fear is a spirit. Amen. His name is Satan. Pierre Satan in French. Jesus said, I'm glad when you give me time to teach you. Jesus said, I am come. Amen. He called himself, I am. He said, I am come that you might have what? Life. life. And have that life what? Abundant. More abundant. Now don't separate the life of God from the confession of your failure. When you do wrong, I don't care if it's sin, all you have to do is say, Lord, I'm sorry. I just got to say it again. Don't you teach you can't backslide. That's a lie. Amen. 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 I just had a vision. Did you know those birds, you know the cyclone fence, and they got a metal thing that on side there? Did you know those birds can walk that metal thing and don't fall off? Here's that straight and narrow. The word of God is straight. Yes. And it's narrow. We can walk it. Yeah. Did you know what the devil, what the, what the, what the, what the, what the squirrel balances itself with? His tail. Yeah. What can we balance ourselves with <clears throat> without yesterday? I once was yes, lost. lost, but now I'm fine, and I'm walking this. Hey! It ain't offensive to call the King's Highway. <laughs> hey! I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so yes. glad. I'm glad. See, I ain't got long to be here. So I, I ask y'all, let me preach to you. And, and then when I, when I leave, James ain't going to stay in this forest. He almost out of them already. Mm -hmm. Huh? And every time I see him, I see a little gray hair here, a little gray hair here. And I looked in his office, he got all kind of glasses in there. But when he come up here, he try to read. I got what you call trifocus. I got three of these things on his lens. That's the wake of God to enable me to see. Amen. Because God is not the author of confusion. Mm. Now, I got some Bibles in my office that only James can read, and he's going to have to retire them after a while. <laughs> huh? Mm. Look, our eyes are made perfect. Amen. But as we get older, mm -hmm. our body was perfectly made. But I, I pulled a ladder in the other day. I tried to climb up there like that and put that thing up there. James said, give it to me, Dad. One of the days, he going to be telling his son. <laughs> yeah. uh, Paul Lisa got cold air coming over the back. So I take that ladder and put some paper over there. That is, whatever comes to cool you off, you don't want that. The spirit is like fire. When the prophet said, feel like fire, what? Shut up in my bone. You, God I will give you anything if you are a teacher. Yeah. Amen. 
See this mic here? <clears throat> Jesus told the disciples on the boat, said, move out a little bit onto the sea. Yeah. Thousands of people mm -hmm. was on the shore. What? He didn't raise his voice. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. He was what he was saying. Amen. Think about it now. Amen. Amen. Is Jesus the word? Yes. 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 And when Peter knew he wasn't saved and Jesus got on the boat, he got buck naked and jumped off in the water. Fear will make you run even from God. Amen. If the devil is the author of it. So they fished all night long. I'm talking about the apostle now. He wasn't just people that went on a weekend. No, that was their job. That's the way they made their living, fishing. And they fished all night. Now you need to listen and learn. Jesus came aboard. Do you have any fish, children? <clears throat> Peter was, was the spokesman. He told the truth. <clears throat> we have labored all night long. We started yesterday evening. And we fished all last night into this morning. And we have caught one fish. Jesus didn't talk a whole bunch. <clears throat> he said, thrust out a little bit. Don't fish with a fishing cane. Cast your net on this side of the boat. And they brought up 153 fishes who were big enough to break that net. And then they called the other people, come over here. Jesus is here. He will help you to catch fish. And when they called him, Jesus said, all right, leave the fish. <laughs> oh, Lord. See, Jesus used a simple thing for an example. He said, leave the fish. Look, and come with me, mm -hmm. and I will make you fishers. What? Amen. Oh, man, that's what we've done. And here's the hook right here. Here's the hook right here. But they weren't using a hook because with one hook, you catch one fish. They had commercial nets. And their boat might be as long as this church or bigger. They were professional fishermen, professionals, and caught Nothing. Why? The master of the ship didn't see it so. He wanted to show them. Now you can make this statement. With Jesus aboard, I can do all that. Through Christ that word. Stretch him. He gives them an example so we can show it to you. Same boat, same sea, same water, same people. Faith walked in. Yeah. And glory fell out. So, I'm glad you're here now because if you were here when we first started this church, I would continue this until the night service. How many people I had? One. The secretary, Sister Gillian. So teaching long, and don't bother me, no. How come? Because he brought me. <sighs> he brought me. From a mighty long way. <sighs> they told me not to come to see my wife because they've got a fear of fear out there. They feared people going to come in and give up some kind of disease or something. So they shut me down. Would let nobody come in. But when I went out there, <clears throat> no, I said, land there. When I walk in, hey, baby. <laughs> she talked to the nurse. This is my husband. This is a good man. Then she, how come? If it ain't got nothing to do with Jesus, she ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Lord, I wish the preacher. Hey, I wish. 
Don't bring me no testimony. And I'm trying like my son. I'm trying to stop a gossip. It's easy to say. He said. She said. They said that I said. Now I ain't talking about it. And that's a sin. Amen. But, but look how good. Hey. Look how good. God is though. He'll pick you up. <laughs> Just got through lying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, pick you up. Yeah. yeah. Uh -uh. Can't nobody tell you how good. Hey, nobody. <laughs> Can't tell you how good God is. <laughs> Spanish, mucho bueno, French, master V, vongo ball. All that, the language, they don't language can explain to you. Here is our responsibility. Give God glory. Yes. Step one. Yes. Now what? Reach for the soul of man. What is the hook? The word that God is. He told the disciple, you've been fishing for fishing on your own. You didn't do nothing. Where is the effort of your work? There ain't now fish on this boat. How long have you been fishing, Peter? Peter says, since yesterday evening, and it's almost noon today, and you ain't got nothing. He said, just move out just a little bit. Amen. God will tell you where the harvest is. Yes, yes. And he will tell you the harvest is rich. The harvest is ready. Yes. But the laborers, hey, a few. You can count the churches on three fingers that get in this book and stay in this book. I know how to fill this church up, and everybody in here go to hell with me. I just play with James Brown. Nah, 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 nah. I, I, I gave my saxophone to James. Come unto me, or your labor and heaven laden, and I will give you rest. rest. It is now two minutes after one. We're going to receive our offer. Don't forget what we preachers told you now. The joy. And, and, and see, the Bible say, bring your offering. So he's going to bring the offer plate down here and you're going to have the blessings of bringing your tithes. Did you enjoy the word today?